Hello everybody, my name is Tiago Arjun and I'm a network engineer with AirWire Networks. Today we will walk through the procedure of adding a network device on ClayPass. To do so, we'll have to first log into the ClayPass Policy Manager. So let me log in real quick. Now, once you're logged into the Policy Manager console, You've got to navigate to configuration, network, devices. Now, as we can read here, a network access device must belong to the global list of devices in the ClayPass database in order to connect to ClayPass. Now, what this means is, before you can start authenticating clients on your wired or wireless network against your switches or controllers, you've got to first add the respective switch or controller on ClayPass. Now, to do so, uh, hit the add link on the top right corner and we've got to fill in a few fields. The first field is a name, which could be anything for your preference. So let me just enter a wire controller. The next field is the IP or subnet address. Now here you can enter the IP address of the switch or the controller, or you could even enter the entire management subnet or even a range of IP addresses that contain your switches and controllers. So 168.10.1, if this is the IP of my controller. I could either enter the IP, or as I said, I can enter the entire subnet, or I can even enter a range of IPs. So I can just say 10 to 50, if this range contains all my network devices. Uh, the next field is a description field which you could enter for your own understanding of what device this is that you're adding. The next field is a radius shared secret. Now, this radius shared secret is used to encrypt a few fields of the radius packet and must match on the ClayPass server and your NAT device. So if you're adding the NAT device first on ClayPass, whatever you're about to specify now should be configured on the switch of the controller while adding ClayPass as a radius server. On the other hand, if you've already added ClayPass as a radius server on the switch of the controller, whatever radius shared secret you had specified, you've got to specify the same secret here. So let me just enter Aruba123, Aruba123, and if you're planning on using ClayPass for administrative login into your uh, controller or your switch, you can enter attack actually shared secret here. Whatever you're entering here, you should enter the same secret there on the device. Uh, the next would be the vendor name. And uh, all well-known vendors will be a part of this dropdown. And you can choose the respective vendor. And the next field, enable radius dynamic authorization. It's good to leave this enabled because uh, you might end up sending uh, COA requests from ClayPass to disconnect users connected on the switches or the controllers. So you can leave that enabled and hit the add button. That's all folks. Thanks for watching.